from Nung O's shocking defeat against Jonathan Haggerty to Sexan Fairtex facing Joker Pei Seisi in a near miss. Here are the best knockouts of Muay Thai in 2023. Up first, we have Jonathan Haggerty dropping Nung O three times to win the gold. In a monumental upset at one fight night nine in April, Jonathan the General Haggerty secured a remarkable victory over long reigning champion Nung Ohama to claim the one bantamweight Muay Thai world title. The English fighter not only defeated Nung O, but also ended his perfect 10 0 record in a single round at Lumpani Boxing Stadium in Bangkok, Thailand. Haggerty's win marked his second divisional title and was hailed as the standout Muay Thai knockout of 2023 due to its decisive nature. Right from the start, both fighters engaged aggressively, exchanging powerful punches and low kicks without hesitation. Despite Nongo's renowned power, Haggerty's sharper punches were evident in the early exchanges, showcasing his skill while remaining cautious of his opponent's strength. During the bout, Nung O pressed forward with powerful strikes, but Jonathan the General Haggerty grew more confident in his own attacks. The turning point came when Haggerty landed a jab and followed it with a body shot, then cleverly switched his tactics to drop Nung O with a right cross. Despite Nung O's attempts to recover, Haggerty capitalized, landing another right hand that sent the Thai legend to the canvas once more. But determined to finish the fight, Haggerty delivered a barrage of punches, securing a knockout victory at 240 of the first round and claiming the one bantamweight Muay Thai world title. For his emphatic win, Haggerty received a U.S. $100,000 performance bonus from one championship chairman and CEO, Chatri Sidyotong. Later, in November 2023, Haggerty continued his stellar year by defeating Fabricio Wonderboy Andrade to become the two-sport champion in both Muay Thai and kickboxing divisions. If you're enjoying the video so far, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for future updates. Next up, Tawan Shai retains the one featherweight Muay Thai world title against Superbon. The match between one featherweight Muay Thai world champion Tawan Chai, PK Sunshine, and top contender Superbon Singha Mawan marked a thrilling end to one Friday fight's 46 on December 22nd in Bangkok, Thailand. Held at Lumpani Boxing Stadium, this clash of Thai stars was a highlight on pay-per-view, showcasing smart counterattacks and intense exchanges across five rounds of high-level Muay Thai action. 24-year-old Tawan Shai initiated his title defense with strategic push kicks to keep Superbon's notorious high kicks at bay. However, Superbon adjusted swiftly, opting for close-range attacks with sharp elbows, surprising many with his versatility and skill. Throughout the fight, both Superbon and Tawan Shai displayed impressive skills and delivered powerful elbow strikes that proved their toughness. And despite Superbon's attempts with high kicks, Tawan Shai countered effectively and maintained a slight edge in aggression and strategy, securing a majority decision victory after 15 minutes. This win allowed Tawan Shai to retain his one featherweight Muay Thai world title, enhancing his professional record to 132 wins, 31 losses, and two draws. But this knockout was nothing compared to this next one. Yep, Roman Kriklia made history at one fight night 17. On December 8, one championship hosted its inaugural all Muay Thai event, showcasing top strikers at Lumpani Boxing Stadium in Bangkok, Thailand. The main event of One Fight Night 17 featured Roman Kriklia, the reigning one light heavyweight kickboxing world champion. He secured a spectacular knockout victory against Australian fighter Alex the Viking Roberts, clinching the inaugural one heavyweight Muay Thai world title. This win marked Kriklia's sixth consecutive victory in the one championship, establishing his dominance. Despite it being his first time competing in small gloves, the Ukrainian fighter displayed comfort and skill, becoming a two-sport, one-world champion. His success solidifies his reputation as one of the world's most formidable pound-for-pound -pound strikers. But he wasn't the only one who blew everyone away this past year. Many world titles were awarded one Friday Fights 46. Thai fighter The Queen Fetjija secured a significant victory by earning a unanimous decision against Anissa C18 Mexen, 
claiming the one interim women's atomweight kickboxing world title. This win marked the pinnacle of her remarkable year, where she went undefeated at 5-0 and became the first athlete from one Friday fights to land a six-figure contract with the organization. Not only that, but the interim title holder Prajanshai P.K. Sunshai avenged a previous loss to Joseph the Hurricane Lasiri by unifying the one strawweight Muay Thai World Championship. Prajanshai's precise elbow strike, just 128 into the first round, secured his second undisputed One World Champion title, which made fans very happy with his performance. Another Thai sensation, Sui Black Tor Pran 49, achieved his fourth consecutive knockout victory in one, earning a coveted US $100,000 contract in the process. And then, how can we forget Lobo, who executed the perfect third round finish against Kaonar? Julio Lobo secured his first victory in one championship in a thrilling 141-pound catchweight match against Keonar Sor Jort Thong Prajin. In the headlining fight, the Brazilian fighter engaged in an intense battle, exchanging punches and elbows with the Muay Thai world champion. Lobo dominated for two rounds, setting the stage for a decisive third round. He cornered Keonar against the ropes and unleashed a powerful combination, a right elbow followed by a left hook and an overhand right. That ended the fight at 46 of the third round. The referee stopped the match, giving Lobo the win and improving his record to 59 wins, 26 losses, and two draws. And just like that, he made it to the top KOs of the year. Joining the list, up next, we have Kunponoi Sor Somai, who stopped Lam Nan Kong with heavy punches in round two. In a 136-pound Muay Thai fight, Kunponoi Sor Somai defeated Lam Nan Kong BS Muay Thai. Having previously won on points in their prior encounter, Kun Ponoi aimed for a decisive victory this time. In the first round, he responded to Lam Nan Kong's strong kicks with powerful punches, but then he carried the momentum into the second round. Kun Ponoi managed to knock down his opponent with a jab cross, followed by a heavy right hook to the body, which ended the fight at the two-minute mark. This win added to Kun Ponoi's impressive record that now stands at 118 wins and 32 losses. Moving on to Sorn Suknoi, who sent Petkawang to the Shadow Realm. In a 128-pound catchweight Muay Thai match at one Friday fights, Sorn Suknoi FA Group secured his second consecutive win by stopping newcomer Petkawang Sorjor Lekmwangnon. At first, both fighters traded punches in close range, but in the second round, Sorn Suknoi noticed a pattern. Whenever he threw a short left punch, Petkawang countered with a right elbow. Sorn Suknoi capitalized on this by setting up a powerful left hand after baiting Petkawang's counter, knocking him down. Though Petkawang got up, Sorn Suknoi resumed his attack, unleashing a series of left-sided punches and elbows, ending the fight at 116 of the second round. This win marked Sorn Suknoi's 43rd career victory, showcasing his strategic fighting style. Coming up next, we have Kung Kaira, Fiat Pahum, who elbowed his way to KO win over Rachan. In a 112-pound catchweight Muay Thai fight, Kung Kaira, Fiat Pahum, showed his aggressive intent against Rachan Sor Somnuk. Initially taking time to settle, Rachan landed significant strikes early on. However, in the second round, Kung Kaira found his rhythm, delivering damaging elbows and causing a cut on Rachan. He scored a knockout late in the round and continued to dominate in the final round, finishing the fight with a powerful left elbow at 128. This knockout victory marked Kung Kairup's debut win, improving his record of 49 wins, 7 losses and 5 draws. His impressive performance marked him as a rising talent in the sport, just like Ploy Kao in his exciting three-rounder with Fallen. Ploy Kao or Aud Udon won a thrilling 112-pound catchweight Muay Thai fight against Fallen, poor Pet Kaiku, thanks to his strong punching. The 21-year-old Thai fighter started strong, landing heavy right hands and left hooks in the first round. Although Fallon fought back with powerful elbows in the second round, Ploikow persisted with his aggressive boxing style. In the final round, Ploikow continued his relentless attack, securing a unanimous decision victory. This win added to Ploikow's record, which now stands at 41 wins and 18 losses. And lastly, we have Sexan Fairtex, who returned to the ring to win in a slugfest against Joker Pasaisi. 
Sexan Fairtax faced Joker Pasaisi in a flyweight Muay Thai match after a close loss in his last fight. From the start, both fighters exchanged heavy shots, but Sexton's hits were more effective. In the second round, Sexton knocked down Joker with a powerful left uppercut, but Joker managed to finish the round. With confidence from the knockdown, Sexton dominated the final round. Despite Joker's efforts, Sexton secured a win by majority decision, improving his one record to 52 wins, 21 losses, and three draws. But the question is, which was your favorite knockout of the year? Let us know in the comments and subscribe to our channel for more videos just like this.